How you going, people? Gonna do uh, early in the morning here. Kind of nice and quiet. Trees all greening up, except for the damn trees that took down for that stupid barbed wire fence. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm gonna shoot toward the uh, pond and uh, try to do this uh, flare video. Kind of show you how I've got this thing kind of. Um, zoomed out as far as I can go so uh, let me first describe the two flares I'll do so the first flare we're going to do is this little pin flare comes in a package with the little pin flare you screw it on get the little pin flare out it's got a little plunger right there you lock this down and around here and then that locks it, and then if you push it, it flies forward and fires a flare. So we're going to try this one, and uh, then let me show the other one. And I kind of already showed these. This is the uh, the handheld flare, and when I read the directions real quickly, <laughs> I don't know I never shot what I saw. <laughs> it says you push down with your thumb to make this bottom part fall out. And then once that falls out, you kind of twist it to lock it in. Doesn't really want to lock in to me, but it just kind of sticks there. And then it says hold on to the bottom part here. And then you unscrew this little cap, and uh, a little chain pops out, and then you pull the chain, and it's supposed to shoot. So uh, let's see how this sucker works. So I'm trying to get. Uh, I'm actually going to probably shoot it toward well I'll shoot one up in the air I don't know if it'll take it or not I kinda want you to see me shooting it and and see the uh, flare so let's see how this thing works I think I'm still in here alright so we'll do the long one first oh. hang on oh shit I forgot to do my uh somebody said it's against the law to shoot one of these Unless you're really in distress. So in case I got some safety Sally out there who's gonna call the Coast Guard on me. La 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 la. Oh. Help! I'm falling and I can't get up. I'm gonna light a flare. There. Now I'm covered. <laughs> now I'm covered for some damn. You're gonna get in trouble. You can't shoot one of those unless you really need. Shut the hell up. Damn crazy ass government non-thinking. All right. Can you see me? Slide this down a little bit. Alright, I'm walking back. Alright, here we go. Unscrew the little cap. Chain drops out. It's got a nice little loop for my finger. Woohoo! Uh, it's good and sing. I'm supposed to hold this secure. Aim it and pull. Help! I can't get up! Hey, this looks pretty good. Oh shit, got a little spark on there. So we just had a big rain last night. Uh, it looked like it was pretty bright. Wasn't that loud. Uh, that's what it looks like afterwards. Put the little cap back on. Uh, figure out a way to put a shotgun shell on here and use this as a... Oh, that would be illegal. Ooh, you're going to get in trouble. Shut up. So here's a little fuse that come out of it. And it's kind of hot because I wasn't paying attention. I held that on my hand, the damn thing burnt. So watch that little fuse thing. All right, so that's the uh, Orin or Orion or uh, whatever you want to call it. Oh, uh, shit, it doesn't say the flare. Red alert, launch direction, aerial flare. And these are like 10 bucks each. So for a four pack, I think it's like 39 bucks. And that's at Academy. I'm sure they got them in other places. Okay, let's do a little pink flare. So, daylight's coming up quick. A couple people in the last one said if you lock this back, when you fire it, if you lock it and then push it like you're supposed to, to, to like off the safety, it doesn't fire. So I'm going to try it both ways. The other way to do it is just pull this back all the way and let it go. Oh, man. I heard that chicken screaming. It just jumped out of its little house. 
All right, so you take one of these little guys out. Got a little screw on cap there. I'm gonna lock this to the rear. So the plunge right there, I'm gonna screw this on. Ooh, it's cocked and loaded. And he pointed at the camera and he put his face, ooh. All right, so screw it on tight. All I gotta do is click this little thing and it's supposed to shoot. Let's see if it works. You know what, I'm gonna shoot this pretty much at my damn lake. Is that lake, is that pond on there? All right, so I'm pretty much shooting this at the pond, see how far it goes. Camera crap. All right, I don't wanna shoot my pear tree, so I'm moving around it. All right, so first I'm just gonna unhook it like it says and let it fly and see if it works. Work. Damn, that sucker's loud as shit. It didn't quite make it to the pond. Damn, that son of a bitch is loud. My ears are ringing. Holy smokes. That's really loud. I should have put earplugs on. So you see it's still smoking out there? Uh, I wanted to wait for a big rain to do this before I did it for that reason. Now, if I shot it up in the air, it probably, uh, you know, wouldn't be lighting things on fire like that. But... Because I uh, shot it straight at an angle like I was shooting at somebody or toward a target, obviously it hit the ground and it was still burning. If that would have went straight up in the air, I don't think it would have burned. So uh, let me do one more. And when this thing blows, let's take a look at this afterwards here. When this thing blows out, it pretty much just blows the top off. Then you have to unscrew the little cap there and put another one in. So. This worked fine when it was locked. The other way to fire this is just to pull this back and let it go forward, and that would fire it also. That damn thing's loud as shit. I don't want it. You know what? I got a pair of earplugs right here in here. Hang on, people. My damn old ears can't take this damn cracking shit. Get my damn earplugs on here. Oh. I got these earplugs on. Uh, they're like, these are the electronic ones that kind of go off. So now when I'm talking, it's like I'm screaming in my ears. I know somebody's going to say, that's what we hear all the time. Shut up. All right, so I'm going to put another one on here. I'll show you this little end cap here. That's what it looks like. So that's pretty much in there. And then when it fires, I guess that piece is the flare that flies off. So I'll lock this back again. Locked in. Warning, there's no safety on this. Ooh, I don't know if I should use it. Screw the little cap back on. And now we're gonna shoot this one straight up in the air. So it's not going to, uh, hopefully it'll, it'll stay in camera. All right, we ready? That little sucker has a little kick to it. <laughs> and it's still burning. So that one does burn. This is more likely to start a fire than the other little handheld. Um, but man, let me tell you. For some reason, get these damn earplugs off now because that's just loud. For some reason, um, this one, man, it has a lot more kick than this one. Now, maybe it's because this is smaller, but, man, it actually kind of hurt my hand a little bit because I didn't have a really good grip on this, and it kind of moved and jarred. So this has a much bigger kick, has a much bigger pow. This one's much quieter, and I kind of think they went about the same distance. Um, and I want to say, I said on the other video how much these cost for this and four. Um, so you get four flares in this one with a little pin. Thing I just tied two off. My uh, earplugs are talking to me. Let me turn those off. <laughs> so uh, I fed my horses in the back there so they wouldn't. Uh, let's see, I'm at wide angle here. And uh, so this one comes with four little flares, or you can also get it with three. Man, a, a lot bigger kick, a lot noise, gonna give away your position more. This one's not going to give away your position audible, 
but the flare goes about the same and it's about the same brightness. Uh, this one, I think, burns a little bit hotter because it was still burning when it hit the ground. This one was almost out when it hit the ground. So pros and cons on the flares, I already shot the little 12 gauge. You know, they got the little handheld flares that you can load to 12 gauge. I showed you those in, in another video, so I wanted to get these two out of the way and uh, kind of talk about that. I have to get up early in the morning. It won't film at night. Um, it was, uh, we had a, supposed to have a big old storm last night. Shit, I had a couple Jack and Cokes and I went to sleep. I slept through the damn thing. I got all kind of Texas. Yo, man, are you getting it? Are you getting hit? I woke up this morning. I'm like, dude, I slept through it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, hopefully that helps all the flares and we'll end that there. I don't know. The boys are back there eating. Smokey was running around. They usually all kind of scatter when I start shooting shit. All right.